Hi everyone, I'm Allison and today we're going to be talking about and walking through pipetting. While it may seem simple enough, your technique can greatly influence your accuracy, precision, and repeatability of results when you're running tests. Don't worry, it isn't as scary as it sounds and we'll be walking you through the procedure step by step. You'll need your sample, a pipette, your pipette tips, beakers, a cuvette, and gloves. You always want to wear gloves as to not contaminate the pipette tip, cuvette, or sample. You'll also want to organize your workspace for a smooth workflow when pipetting. This will help you to maintain fluidity and streamline the process. When using an automatic pipette, you will notice there are two stopping points when you press down on the plunger. The first stopping point should be used whenever drawing up sample or reagents. The second stopping point is used for dispensing the contents of the pipette. Before drawing up your sample, be sure to adjust your automatic pipette to the desired volume. To draw your sample, compress the plunger to the first stop to expel liquid and release the plunger to draw the liquid three times. This will help coat the pipette tip with the liquid and it will help keep liquid from catching in the pipette tip. Once the sample is drawn, withdraw the pipette from the liquid and then insert the pipette at an angle into the cuvette. The tip of the pipette should be touching an edge of the cuvette. If square or rectangular, a corner works well for this purpose. Smoothly compress the plunger to the first stop. After a moment, press the pipette to the second stop to finish dispensing. When working with a more viscous sample that may bubble when expelled from the pipette tip, touch the pipette tip to the surface of the liquid already in the cuvette if possible. This will help to draw the liquid in the pipette into the cuvette. Next, press the ejection button to release the pipette tip and then select a new tip to prevent carryover and cross-contamination from sample to sample. When not in use, your automatic pipette should be stored in a vertical position. So that's it! Accuracy and repeatability are key to performing best lab practice measurements. Following these steps helps ensure that you are getting your desired results with confidence. Like us on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to the channel for more information and updates on best lab practices. See you soon!